It feels like it'll be a nice day today. The sun is shining, the weather is nice, and best of all, my dad for once didn't wake me up by screaming at me. Kaylee get your ass down here right now. God damn it. What do you want? For a minute I actually thought I was going to have at least a decent day. Where did you put all my beer? I didn't do anything with it. You must have drank it all. Don't lie to me, I know you took all my beer out of the fridge. Tell me where it all is, now. I just told you. I didn't take it. The only explanation is that you drank it. And if so, you're gonna have to go out and buy more. Kalu, if I would have drank it, I would have remembered. This is your last chance to tell me or else I'm sending you to the basement. Tell me where my beer is, now. Well if you don't remember, then you must have been really freaking drunk. Because I never took your goddamn beer. That's it, we're going to the basement. Come on before I give you a punishment day. Since when has our basement been a dungeon, and why is there spoiled food and the remains of someone down here? It's just leftover Halloween decorations, and I've been working on turning our basement into a dungeon so I can send you down here if you misbehave. Oh, okay. So are you going to torture me or something? Perhaps, you're going to have to watch something for the next 7 hours. Oh really? I think I can handle it. Just wait until he sees what exactly I'm gonna force him to watch. Welp, have fun, I'll see you in 7 hours, if you survive. Mwahahahahaha. <laughs> ha ha ha. I'm not afraid. Bring it on. This is my story told my way. Jeez. <laughs> Well, I'm back, and it looks to me that you enjoyed the show. Mwahahahaha. <laughs> it, it was horrible. No Scooby-Doo, nothing but racism against whites. Everyone was race swapped except Fred, who was bastardized from his original characterization. The main character was insufferable, that was literally the worst thing I have ever seen in my life. Please, don't make me watch that again. I'm begging you. I probably won't, if you admit you stole my beer and tell me where you hid it. Are you kidding me right now? I already told you I didn't take it. Then I guess it's time to watch more Velma. No. Huff, huff, I can't. Not a second time. I am not going through that torture again. <laughs> Fucking dare you destroy the monitor I used to torture you with. Now I can't torture you with Bama anymore. God fucking damn it. You're grounded, 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 grounded for 5,008,420 years. And you get grounded for an additional 95 billion years for not fussing up for stealing my beer. Go to your room. Yay. For once I'm actually happy I'm grounded because it's better than watching Velma for another 7 hours. I guess I took grounding for granted. God, why doesn't he obey me? And god damn it, I now have to get that screen replaced, which is over 13 million dollars to fix. I'm relieved that I can't be forced to watch Velma anymore, but I still hate him. How can I get my revenge on him for accusing me of stealing his beer and then trying to torture me with the worst animated show to ever exist? I know. I'll call up Grandma and Grandpa to ask them to ground Boris. Then we'll see who'll be laughing now. Mwahahahaha. Hello? Grandma. Could you and Grandpa come over and teach my dad a lesson? Huh, <sighs> I really wanna get wasted right about now, but I can't because I'm positive Kalu took my beer. It might not have been him and I probably drank it all while I was really drunk one night, but I'm still blaming him because I feel like it. Now who the hell could that possibly be? My parents, Ha. Huh? Yeah right, like they care enough to even visit. Oh shit. Boris. How dare you be such a terrible parent. Oh really, and you guys aren't? You guys literally made my childhood hell. You broke my favorite things, bullied me, abused me, 
and even tried killing me multiple times. This baby is ugly. I want a new one. Uh, why can't I have actual good food? Why is it that all I get is the dog's doo-doo? Shut up and eat your crap. Or else you don't get food at all. It's so gross I want to eat real food bah. Good. There's no one around. I'm gonna watch TV. Boris, how dare you watch TV? But I was just going to watch some cartoons. Disobeying me, eh? Well guess what disobeying gets you? A gunshot. Well, Run. You're fighting you need the exercise. Run. Run or I'll swarm you over. Oh my god. Today's my 18th birthday. Today's the day I can finally escape this hellhole. I can't wait to rub it in my parents' faces that I'm leaving and there's nothing they can do about it. Ah, Boris. The day's finally here. The day you turn 18 and the day we kick you out of the house. And I couldn't be happier. I'm leaving this hellhole and I never want to see the two of you ever again for the rest of my life. I'll start a family, and I'll be a better parent than either of you combined. Just get out of our house. Oh yeah. There's one last thing I want to say to the both of you. Chow bitches. You know, when I said I didn't want to see the two of you ever again in my life, I really meant that. Why are you even here? Your son called us up. He told us to teach you a lesson, so you must have screwed up. That little piece of shit.